Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have, yeah, that's really cute, nice. I have eyeshadow all over. Whenever I get it on my hands, I like rub it on my palm to try and like diffuse the mess situation. I'm not helping my case, am I? So today I'm doing a tutorial for the look that I'm wearing right now. You guys had requested to see some tutorials using the Makeup Peak shadows that I talked about last week, so that is what I will be doing. This one features the foiled shadow called Curtain Call, which is that kind of like pinky cranberry gorgeous shade that I'm so excited about. A lot of you guys were like, oh yeah, we need to see that shade in a tutorial, and I've been wearing it nonstop, so that is what we're doing today. Um, it's just paired with a simple liquid lipstick from Ofra, just kind of neutral and cool toned and awesome. I love this look for the fall, and it's been super, super fun to wear, so let's do it, guys. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna be priming my eye as usual, and I'm using this paint pot by MAC. It is called Lay and Low, and I'm just gonna put that all over both of my eyelids and kind of up toward the brow bone a little bit, not all the way up to the brow really, just so that it kind of blends outward from the lid area, if that makes sense, and just gonna blend that in really well. It's gonna be an awesome base for the eyeshadow look that we're doing today. This first shadow that I'm using in the crease and the transition area is called Bake Sale by Makeup Geek, and it is one of the new fall 2000 2016 shadows that they came out with and I'm just going to distribute that really nice and evenly and blend it out really well all the way through the crease and the upper kind of transition area like I said and I'm using this Morphe brush to blend everything out guys I have an idea let me know I know you guys like to see listed like every product that I use by the way, this shade is called Tan Lines, and I'm just putting it in the deeper crease area. So anyway, I know you guys like to see listed all the products that I use, and the brushes and stuff, which I don't always do as thoroughly as I would like to, but I'm thinking of just doing like a blog so that I can just link to the blog and say, hey, the whole list is over there, there's links over there, there's everything you could possibly want to know about this uh, video. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's kind of frowned upon to do like a ton of links within a description in the YouTube video, so that's why I don't want to link every single thing down below. Um, I'll do a couple things here and there, but it might be helpful. I think it'll be helpful for a lot of people, but it is a lot of work, so if you guys are like, no, that's stupid, I'm just not going to do it. Makes sense? Um, so anyway, we're going to move on to the lid color. This one is called Cabin Fever, and we are using that all over the lid. I'm doing this kind of like dark, um, red, smoky kind of vibe here. Um, my eyes are green, as you can tell from the video, and so this like makes them look even more green, which I kind of like. I think that's pretty fun. It's always fun to emphasize your eye color, so anyway, we're just patting that all over the lid. This is gonna look good on any eye color, though. It's gonna bring out really warm tones in brown eyes. It's gonna make blue eyes pop like crazy. So any eye color can wear this and it'll look really gorgeous. Just blending out the edges on that, um, that eyeshadow and just making sure that everything is nice and blown out and blended. Then I actually didn't think that this was quite deep enough so I'm going in with this purpley kind of shade. It's also from the Makeup Geek collection and it is called Cherry Cola and I really like this color. It is like it's almost like sketch from MAC but slightly redder, purpler, I'm not sure. I haven't seen sketch in a while but it kind of reminds me of it. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's nice and blended as well and I just like the way that it kind of deepened the lid area because I wanted it nice and like deep and dark and ready purple. And then we're going in with this super exciting foiled shadow. You guys were like so excited about this one last week in my videos and I adore this shade so much it's not even funny. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and I'm just gonna pat it all around on both eyelids. The reason I'm using my finger instead of a brush is uh, twofold. One, I didn't have any spray with me to spray down the shadow once you put it on the brush. Okay, sorry, there's a siren going by. Um, so I like to do it with my finger um, after I've done my foundation because otherwise you get a lot of fallout and I didn't have a spray to spray it down. Um, had I not done my foundation yet and and or had a spray, I would have done it with a brush, but we're doing it with a finger today. It works really well for these foiled shades. So I'm going to just blend it out, but try not to get the shade in the crease because I don't want the crease to be shimmery. I want it to be matte all the way up from the lid, straight all the way up. And then this one I'm using for my highlight shade um, in the inner corner. It's really, really pretty, and it's actually this pinky, it's like very similar to Curtain Call, which is the cranberry one, um, and it's called Mai Tai. I like it a lot, it just, I found that it wasn't as bright as I was hoping that it would be, so I did end up going in with a different um, shadow for the highlight over the top of this one. 
And I'm just gonna soften that edge and blend it a little bit so it doesn't look super out of place. Sometimes if you don't blend your highlight, it just looks chunky and funny. Um, then I'm going in with this one called Voltage, and you guys, I've been using this so much to highlight my, in my inner corner that I just, like whenever I don't use it, I'm like, mm, it's not enough. So this is Voltage, I did not get it wet. It's literally just that pigmented and that intense, um, but usually I do get it wet if I can. And then going through and blending that one as well, just so we have softened, softened um, situations here. <laughs> so I'm taking that same Cherry Cola shade and I'm gonna go underneath the lower lash line and just kind of make this like a nice rounded smoky eye. Everything is just very cohesive and flows nicely. I'm not gonna put Curtain Call, which is that um, foiled shadow. I'm not putting that on the lower lash line. I'm just doing the matte ones. And then I'm going to blend it out with kind of a lighter shade just to make it nice and like blown out so it flows a little bit better. So I'm taking tan lines again and I'm just going to use this fluffy brush to kind of blend out that cherry cola on the lower lash line and it helps to kind of fade that darkness into your skin color, especially down there on the lower lash line. It can be quite obvious if it's not well blended. So I'm taking this NARS, um, I think it's Via Veneto um, eyeliner. It's just what I happen to have on hand. It's not my favorite eyeliner in the world, but it's fine. Um, using that in the lower water line. And then this Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara, which I'm actually obsessed with lately. It's real good, guys. It's real good. I like the brush on it, too. It gives you a lot of control while still delivering a lot of product on your lashes. I love the way the lower lash line looks with this kind of smoky, like, oh, I love it with the mascara on there. It's just so pretty. And then, of course, the upper lashes, although I am going to do um, upper, what do you call them, false lashes as well. So it's not like I need to put a ton of mascara on, but I do some anyway, just so that they blend really nicely. And these are my favorite lashes lately. They're the Ardell Wispies, but they're the Studio FX edition. And the lip color is by Ofra, and it's called Pasadena. So that's it you guys. It's super super easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's kind of given you some ideas of how to use the Makeup Geek shadows that we talked about the other day because I've been obsessed with them. I've been obsessed. I've been wearing them every single day and I love them so much. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!